Now to a story that combines hard work, art, a desire to help, and a dash of Halloween. The number of Tulsans experiencing homelessness is at crisis level. I met with a Tulsa artist with a grand idea to do her part to help one two by four at a time. Halloween decorations outside a condemned house, not a typical sight, but nor are the plans for the house. April McDaniel is an artist. I make money any way I can, so I've learned how to do all kinds of stuff. But learned construction work as a child, helping her dad build a cabin. Five years old was when we started building that cabin, and it's still standing to this day. Squatters allegedly lit this house on fire. It was full of pianos April believes were stolen for copper. This right here is like going to be the kitchen area. So April is almost single-handedly flipping the house. She made sure the structure was still sound enough. With donated help from an attorney for a contract, she met with the owner with a plan to provide a space for women experiencing homelessness. If you let me take on this house for 10 years after I'm finished, I said you can claim it as a tax exempt for the 10 years, and then when it's done, when that 10 years is over, you can have your house back. And it just gives the homeless 10 years to be able to have a place to stay. A major undertaking is an understatement. It has no electricity or plumbing. She's determined to finish in two years. Her vision for the women's home, which she's in the process of making a nonprofit, is thorough. There will be rules and regulations. There will be codes on the doors and cameras and all that. That you know, be you know an application to sign up for it. It won't just be hey, you can stay there. Da, da, da. And then like if they don't follow the rules, it's a one shot and you're out. If you're supposed to do the dishes all week and you don't, you're gone. In addition to flipping the house, she also plans to expand it, building a room in this area and filling it with bunk beds for the women. Her art already adorns the walls. She gains inspiration from the works of God filmmaker Tim Burton and everything has been donated through word of mouth. I came home yesterday there's two mirrors and a shelf sitting out in the garage. I have no idea where they came from. A mural in the kitchen with a quote illustrating the house and the people who will reside. It says you're not a bad apple you're a survivor that wasn't properly cared for. And she's not stopping here. April has two more houses in the works. If it sounds exhausting she says sitting still is boring. Why not? take on her biggest canvas yet. And April's artwork, if you'd like to support her, will be featured at Liggett Studios starting October 13th. The exhibit features 20 self-taught Oklahoma artists. For details, go to kjrh.com.